I must today express my very, very great Karsa Toiv to the Bari Olam, Kadosh Baruch Hu, Kel Racham B'chanon, the infinitely merciful one, who 30 years ago, tonight, saved my life in a fatal, seemingly fatal car accident, I was hit by a car, thrown in the air, landed on my head, and run over by a truck, pronounced dead on the spot, and Ruch Hashem, Mimavetz L'chaim, Hashem saved my life 30 years ago on the 18th of Sivan. And I feel very great gratitude to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and in fact, all the shirim that I, I'm privileged to give, deliver, all the Torah that I could teach, it's all Torah Chaim, calls called Torah Chaim, Al Shem, the miracle that Hashem did for me. And in fact, Rashi says in Chumash by Moshe Rabbeinu and Yaakov that when they had an ace, they built the Mizbeach to call out to Hashem. So to remember the miracle, because the person has a miracle, he has to mention it always because we forget very quickly all the many, many miracles that we have. I'd like to now conclude the series that we started on the dreams of Daniel, the very deep words of the Navi Daniel and the Malbim explanation. Come now to the Siam, to the conclusion, the words of the Groa, the Pasuk in Mishle, it's Parak Yud Beis, Pasuk Yud Gimel, 12, 13. The Pasuk says, the Peshos Vasayim Mokesh Ra, from the transgression of the lips, evil is trapped. And from the tzara, from the tribulation, comes the tzaddik. The gra bases an unbelievably brilliant pshat explanation based on all of the psukim that we've learned the past few days in Daniel. Right? And if we remember, Peshos right? Vasayim, says the gra, refers to that one small horn that came out from the head of the beast, which represented Edom. That ten-horned beast represented Adam. Remember, one horn came out and knocked off the three horns of Adam, the three kingdoms of, out of ten kingdoms of Adam. Right? And as the as Daniel the Navi said, that that one horn had a loud mouth and eyes. Right? And because of that loud um, mouth, the animal was shechted. Adam was destroyed. Says the Gra that this refers to the Achris Hayamim the end of days, which we're in now, when there will be a uh, disgrace to, to the Jewish people, to the Am Hashem, through the nation of Ishmael. He doesn't say the nation of Ishmael. I'm building that based on the uh, Malbim's explanation that the horn was Ishmael. But Yishmael will blaspheme the Jewish people. They'll threaten to destroy them, to blow up the country and to blow up the people. And from that Sarah will come the Tzadik, the Mashiach. Now, that's the that's the nimshal. The Gra explains that the Moshe is whenever a Russia tries to destroy a tzaddik, he's always destroyed to his mouth. His mouth is the instrument which brings his own destruction. And in the case, normal case of a Russia who tries to destroy his tzaddik, it refers to some words that he will say which will reveal his plans and will eventually cause his downfall. The Gra says this is the same concept. We can apply this on a global level to the Achris Hayamim, to the time before Mashiach, um, when the nation of Yishmael will be overly vocal, when they'll tra- they'll blaspheme, they'll transgress with their mouth, and through that transgression will come the Mashiach. Says the Grog, why hasn't Mashiach come yet? Because our transgressions are holding him back. Now, if we take this to the next level, we think about this for a minute, we know that all punishments that Hashem brings are mita, connected mita, measure for measure. If the, if the nation of Yishmoel will be punished through their mouth, it must mean that we will have some merit through our mouth. Through our mouth will come the impetus for their destruction, because that will be measure for measure. Through the merit of our mouth will come the destruction of Yishmoel, who are trying to destroy us as they express through their blasphemous and audacious threats to destroy us completely as a people and as a nation. This means, and this is the Malbim explains, this means the Akhris Ayamim, which we're now, the Avoda, the job of the Jewish people, will be to strengthen their mouths. Hakol Kol Yaakov, Yadayim Yide Esav. 
the Malbin explained that Yishmoel is an outgrowth of Edom. That's why he's the horn on the head of Edom. Outgrowth. The culture of Yishmoel was an outgrowth of the culture of Edom. And the destruction of Edom and of Yishmoel will be through the Kol Kol Yaakov. Right? Say Chazal. A Kol Kol Yaakov Yadayim Yadayim When the Kol of Yaakov is strong, then the hands of Yadayim are weak. When is the Kol of Yaakov strong? When we are using our mouths to learn Tira, to Davin, to say positive words about people, not to say Lashon Hara. I recently spoke to a group of women explaining this Pasuk and, stre- and strengthening the idea that every time we, with- we withhold ourselves, we close our mouth to, um, and not say Lashon Hara, another Mechitza, another barrier between us and Mashiach is being broken and Mashiach is coming closer and closer. And one woman commented that we're a group of, of pretty righteous women here. We don't, uh, we, we're pretty careful about our mouths. We don't speak Lashon I said, yes, but there's more than that. There's more than that. A person's mouth should not just be careful from not saying Lashon Hara, but should radiate positivity. Every single word you say, try, should be positive. Mi Ha'ish, Chavetz Chaim, who is the man or woman who desires life? Um, Oyev Yamim, loves days. Liros Tov, to see good. Netzor, Neshalom Tchamira, Svesech, Medavimir. Right? If you want to see good all your days, talk good. Talk positive. You see a good action, praise it. You see a good, um, if someone has a good, shares a good Tvarator with you, praise it. Someone gives a share, praise it. Someone writes something, praise it. Our mouths should be flowing with praise for other people. Not insincere praise, not flattery, because we want to get something. Yeah? But sincere praise of people, making them feel good. Right? The Kazal tell us, it's a bigger thing to show the white of your teeth than to give them milk. Shem Shem Pinkus explains, milk keeps babies alive. Yet giving the white of teeth is bigger. Why? I recently understood this. Because when you smile at someone, he thinks you're smiling because of him. And it makes him feel good. And just the other day, almost every day I have to say, somebody tells me they're depressed. They're even thinking of suicide. This that we have no idea or maybe we do, if we're one of the victims, not victims, one of the sufferers, yeah. how bad people are, how low they are, how how down they are. Because we're in Akhar Siyam and we're in the mud. Ikhlas of the Mashiach is the ankles, is the heels. We're in the mud. We're sunk deep in the mud and we have to pull ourselves out. And each and every one of us could be a lifesaver. Each and every one of us could be someone who pulls out of the mud. So remember the, the deep words of the Gra. From the transgression of the lips, evil is trapped. Yishmoel is now being boisterous and vocal, and they're trying to, threatening to destroy us. But if we're careful now how we speak, how we talk, strengthen ourselves in Torah and Tefillah and Surah Salashan, then Hashem will bring the Yeshua very quickly. And I give thanks to all the listeners to the Yishem and to Torah in time and to the Bori Elam and to all the people. Especially my wife who helped me so many years and then came with some.